My last two and a half years of high school, I had the great opportunity to be able to go to a school called Ridsdale Academy in West Monroe, Louisiana, and I loved it. I had a great time. And I had an opportunity to be able to play football for a man named Woody Boyle. So I'll talk about him later. He's a great influence in my in my life as a teenager and, and still now today I reflect on many things that he taught us and he was way ahead of his time. I wanna share this with you that when we <clears throat> would go to football games sometime it was 80, 90, 95 degrees sometime. The tenth, my 10th tenth grade year, the spring of my 10th grade year, I found out that during a game, he'd only allow us to have ice. And we'd have coolers of ice, but that's all we could have was a handful or two handfuls of ice. If we came off the field, we were thirsty. And I didn't really understand that. But I did later as I kept on playing for him. And then I realized he knows what he's talking about. All you need is ice. You don't, you get hydrated before the game, but all you need during that game is ice. Ice cools you down, ice helps you out, ice helps uh, to hydrate you, but ice doesn't overfill you so that you uh, you can't function properly. And you know, that, that reminds me of the Word of God when you tell people, hey look, what you need is the Bible. You need the Bible. You have a problem, you need, to, you need to apply the Bible. If you think about all the things that you've ever heard in preaching and think about, hey, if you would just apply what you've heard in preaching. So let me give you just one verse. The Bible is, is just loaded with verses that exhort you to go to the Word of God. John 17, 17, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. But let me read this to you. In 2 Peter 1, 3, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. All things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Well, where do you get the knowledge of him? From the Bible. The crow's hungry. From, from the Bible. So when you, when you have the Bible and you... Take it and somebody says, I have a problem and you try to share with them and they look at you like, just ice? You mean just the Bible? Yeah. Yeah, the word of God is there to instruct us and guide us and help us. And the Bible is sufficient in all areas of life, living, and godliness. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.